Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Broncos back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, it is amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field. You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see him to go out there and have success again. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. You see the linebackers moving? What they're trying to do is confuse the quarterback. Jimmy Graham has the catch. The Broncos did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. The Broncos snap it at the 41. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. No huddle time. Now first and 10. Back to the ground now on first down. Coming to the line at the 48. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's shifting to their left. Graham's got it. First down. The Broncos have continually looked to their tight end today. Graham's been a big part of the game plan. Oh, yeah. Why would you adjust it? You got one of the best tight ends in the NFL. But if I was a quarterback out there, I'd have trouble looking anywhere else on the field. Just keep throwing it to the tight end. Halfway through the third quarter. Up the gut here. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Over to Graham. That's McCourty making the stop. Broncos, good job that time, moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Kaepernick's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Here's the quick toss. Breaks the plane. Touchdown. We're heading to the fourth, and partner, they look to have seized command of this game with that touchdown. Oh, I think they have. They have seized command, Jim. They've put the pressure on the other coaching staff and the players. This is a great spot to be in. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Seahawks will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident, they feel good, so you need to keep calling plays. It keeps the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I would be surprised to see him march down here and score again. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. Wasting little time. Second down, three for the first. Picks up eight here. The Seahawks look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. The Seahawks snap it at the 36. Going for the home run. But it's incomplete. Well, oh, Jimmy had a guy open deep that time. It looked like a good throw, but just out of the reach of the wide receiver. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Here we go. 
Set up screen to Charles. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Second down following that incompletion. The Broncos with a nickel look here on defense. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there. It's in the second half and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you can just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Seahawks come to the line. First down marker at the 40. Third down and 10. And Quinn with a near takeaway on that pass. Well, coach has to make a decision that gives his team the best chance to win. Here you are down. It's a close game in the fourth quarter. It's fourth and long near midfield. There's no decision here. You must punt the football. I'll be surprised if they don't punt the football. Going for it on fourth down. Charles is out wide on the left. Homer's got it in the gun. Antonio Gates has the catch. Freeney's in on the tackle. The Seahawks just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's Charles on the toss. That's a gain of 10. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. They're going to run it on the toss. McDonald's the one who made the big stop. That's a timeout by the defense. The long drive continues. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Good for only a yard. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Gates is brought down after picking up six on this play. The Seahawks did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something in a hurry. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. 
Offense heads to the line for the 13th play of this drive. Defense lining up here late in this one, trying to hold on to the lead. Charles is tackled down after a gain of two. Defense now signaling for a timeout. A huge third down play on the way. And now here's the toss. The Seahawks now move the chains. Nice job by the offense getting it inside the one yard line. Let's see if they can push it over the next play for the seven points. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Palmer's going to keep jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. Well, this quarterback is not afraid to score on the goal line, that's for sure. Not afraid about taking a hit from one of those big, mean defensive players. He runs a quarterback sneak and gets a touchdown. the NFL all the teams can spread you out they can run it the quarterback can keep it the pick plays the passes very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion oh that's a huge two-point conversion gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24 the Broncos offense takes the field and they are absolutely in desperate need of a big time drive here to put points on the board. The one thing we do know, since you are behind, the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls. So make sure you have play calls to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Kaepernick takes it from the gun. Graham with the grab. Graham's tackle right at the 28. A critical moment in this game as it's third down. Well, there's just no other option for the offense right here. They got to go to the hurry up because they have no timeouts left. So get as many plays off as you can. Cooper's met at the 37. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. Oh, and almost picked off that time. The Broncos head to the line and out of timeouts. The D-lines, they're seeing something on the offensive side. Everybody's shifting to their left. Launches it down the field. One-handed grab. One-handed catches, Phil, are becoming a thing of art. Well, they practice it now, Jim. I think as they're growing up, you see them practice it out on playgrounds when they're in practice, and they come out here in the game, and they just make it happen. That is really, truly an incredible one-handed catch. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Has Olsen taken down, and the clock continues to be their enemy right now. Every team in the NFL knows how to run the two-minute drill. They work on it every single day at practice. Let's see how they run it today with no timeouts left. 